What up, God's people? This is an episode of Truth It, and today is a You Make Me Mad Monday. You know what makes me angry? When people scream like this, Ooh! Ah! Yeah! And you run in the room like, What happened? What happened? And they like, I found my bottle of nose spray under the couch. I was looking for this for two weeks. Overly negative people. Oh, nice. You just won that car. Yeah, but gas prices are rising. Your kid got A's and B's. Nice. Yeah, but they didn't make the honor roll. You got the iPhone 5S? I heard that phone was nice. Wicked fast. Yeah, but you know, in the next three months, they're going to announce the iPhone 6. And you just use the word wicked. And what really makes me upset is when you don't say what you mean, mean what you say, or order what you want. Like my wife and I will go out to eat and I'll be like, all right, yeah, give, give me this, this the steak and french fries. She'll say, oh, I just want a salad. And then when my food get there, she'd be like, I'll just munch off of some of yours. Oh, no, you won't. You had a chance to order it, too. That annoys me. Yeah, we all have those things. I think they call them pet peeves or things that send you over the edge kind of quickly. The Bible says be slow to anger. And it also talks about having a new attitude in Christ. Let's go to the Bible. Ephesians 4, 23 to 26 says, Be made new in the attitude of your minds and put on the old new and put on the new self, not the old self, the new self. Created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Truth it. So getting angry and getting annoyed happens to us all. But we have to be careful not to let that anger take over our emotions or get overly emotional and let it cause things to escalate to a point where it should never go. Truth it. It's crazy how one act of anger can erase a whole lifetime worth of ministry. Get out of character one time, and the first thing a non-believer or someone will say is, I thought Christians weren't supposed to act that way. Where's the love in that? But you know what? They got a point. Truth it. So on this Making Me Mad Monday, I want everybody, I want, I want to encourage you all to take a step back before it reaches to that level. Never let a situation or a confrontation get to that level where it'll be difficult to come back from truth it. I'm your boy Will and I'm out.